Greetings and welcome people. It's another one of those days where I just have to get out on the bike even if it's just for a short time. Oops, a little bit quick. Slow down a bit. So I'm just going to go for a quick quick run around somewhere. Anywhere random, nowhere in particular. Well, I do recall that in one of my previous vlogs some time ago I did, uh, did happen to be riding along a, a stretch of fairly countrified road and uh, came across a little sign indicating a route to a cafe which I thought I would explore at a later time and never did. So. I'm going to go see if I can find that today. And while I'm about that, I thought I might have a little chat about a couple of things that have come to prominence recently. Um, quite a few, particularly here in the UK, quite a few UK moto vloggers have been talking about a couple of things that uh, that are being discussed quite a bit. They've got, got the motorcycling community or some elements of it here in the UK in something of a something of a tizzy, in something of a flap. The first item is and you probably I don't know whether you've seen these over across the pond in the States or anywhere else, but some motorcyclists here in the UK have taken to wearing what we call polite vests. These are like the high visibility vests or jackets that a lot of motorcyclists do actually wear. But they have checker banding on them, reflective checker banding. And they also have the word polite in big reflective letters across the back. Now, the suggestion has been made, and I think there is a reasonable grounds to believe that that is the case, but the people that wear these polite vests are actually trying to make other road users think, even just for a short moment, that they might be police. Because obviously the, the, with the checker banding and things like that, they actually do reasonably closely resemble police uh, jackets, uh, motorcycles, certainly for the motorcycle and traffic officers. Uh, one of the things that has brought that to prominence recently was that a motorcyclist who was wearing one of these, I believe it was a yellow high-vis jacket with polite on the back, was also wearing a white crash helmet like police wear. And I mean I'm wearing a white crash helmet but I'm not trying to impersonate a police officer. He was also riding an X police motorcycle. I can't remember which one it was, it's possibly a Yamaha or a BMW, one of these uh, fully dressed, fully fed tourers that uh, a lot of police forces use, not just here but a lot of places around, around the world. And he was stopped by a traffic officer, police officer, and was cautioned, cautioned about trying, look, looking like he was trying to impersonate a police officer. Now I'm not saying that everybody that wears a polite vest is doing everything they can to look like a police officer, but in this particular case I think he, the guy had gone above and beyond to give the impression that he might, just might be a police officer. Now the problem was he was cautioned um, at the traffic stop but he wasn't happy with that. He was miffed about the way he'd been treated, being accused of trying to impersonate a police officer when he believed he wasn't doing so. So he actually went along to the police station to complain. Now bearing in mind that at this point he'd not been ticketed, he'd not been fined. All, he'd, all that happened is that the police officer had stopped him, had 
basically, as we in the UK say, had a word. Basically, a little bit of what traffic officers used to do a lot more of when there were more of them, which was to try and educate uh, motorised road users and other road users about what they were doing wrong and uh, trying to get them to change their behaviour. Obviously, it seems that there's a lot of stuff going around now that the police are just basically writing tickets to raise revenue, and that's a whole other matter. So uh, this chap turns up at the police station. Um, no, I wasn't there, so I've absolutely no idea how things went down. But he ended up getting taken to court for attempting or trying to impersonate a police officer. And um, he basically got fined several... I think it was in fact £700, something of that order. And of course now he's, he's appearing in all the motorcycling press and things complaining about he was only trying to you know sort of be safe and all this sort of thing and uh, so as I say that has elevated these polite vests to sort of semi headline news now I've got nothing against high vis I mean I, I don't actively wear any I don't actually have any um, but that's not to say that it, I may not, at some point, um, get some and wear it. I, mean, I know some people poo-poo the idea of high-vis entirely. They won't wear it, even um, some... I think there's one well-known uh, vlogger in the UK who, in recent years, has been very dismissive and disparaging about high-vis high -vis vests and people who wear them. Yet, in his, in his earlier vlogs, he was actually seen to be wearing them, so... Um, yeah, some people say one thing and do another. But I certainly wouldn't wear a polite vest. Um, I, don't, I don't think it is a good look at all. Um, I'm, su I'm surprised that it's become a thing. Um, but there we go. Polite vests. I'll, I'll try and find a, a standard uh, picture of, of one in case you're wondering what on earth I'm talking about. You might already know. You might be perfectly aware of what they are. In fact, where, wherever you live, people might already be wearing them. And, and you may already have your own opinion on them, but that's a thing at the moment. Not something I support or believe in. Obviously, some people do. Um, whether or not they actually are setting out to create the impression of being a police officer. But that's the thing, I suppose. If, even if, in the, the view of other observers, just for a split second, it makes them think, oh, that's a police officer, maybe that qualifies it as, attempt, as impersonating a police officer. But I'm not a judge. I'm not a legal person, I don't know the full ins and outs. But if this chap has been tried and found guilty of impersonating a police officer, it may be that the, the vest itself may not be the thing, it may be the fact that he was wearing a white helmet and riding a, a, an ex-police bike with white fairings and possibly even had the reflective strips on the fairing, I don't know. I'll see if I can find a photo of, of him as well. But the other thing that has come into public consciousness, and certainly amongst the motorcycling community again, although I can't, I don't think that it would be restricted solely to motorcyclists, is the trialling of noise cameras here in the UK. Now, apparently these are already being uh, tried out if not actively used in some parts of Canada I'm not sure that's been mentioned in one of the recent reports I heard but basically if you ride or drive a motor vehicle with a stupidly loud exhaust pipe these cameras will detect that uh, I'm not entirely sure what decibel rating they're set for obviously they can be set for different decibel ratings 
and they will uh, just, just the same as speed cameras they will take your a picture of your number plate and you will receive a fine in due course now of course a lot of people are getting in a right oh excuse me dizzy about these and I think it's safe to say that anybody who's watched more than a few of my vlogs will know that I do not support loud exhausts I'm very much on record as saying I like an exhaust with a nice characterful tone but open pipes that are just obnoxiously loud no they are a noise nuisance and that is what I believe these cameras are about they're not about a nice throaty meaty sounding exhaust they're about these ones that people just put basically open pipes on their bikes and then basically become a complete nuisance to everybody that they ride past Now the most recent uh, commenter on that I've, I've seen was today, was the Missenden Flyer. Now he's another one of these ones that's getting up, all up in arms about them, saying they're outrageous and all this sort of thing. But here's the point. If you don't want to be get a fine for having an illegal exhaust pipe on your bike, don't put an illegal exhaust pipe on your bike. It's very simple. It's like people who complained about being stopped and ticketed for having illegal number plates. If you don't want to be stopped and given a ticket for having an illegal number plate, don't have an illegal number plate. If you're going to do things that stretch the, uh, the limits of the law, that's one thing. But when you very clearly and obviously go over the boundaries of the limits of the law, then I don't, really don't think you've got any grounds to complain when you get stopped and punished for that. Now somewhere up here, I think, is where I saw that sign for cafe. Or possibly not. Uh, okay, so... Unless it was there for a while and is now gone, I don't know. Well, let's go up to Whiteways instead. You can see these notices up here, Festival of Speed notices. One possible destination I did have planned for today was the viewpoint up on the downs by the trundle that one of my relatively new subscribers mentioned about. Pardon me. Um, a, a picnic place up there and I've, I've, I've checked it out on Google Maps and it does look quite nice so I thought yeah that would be quite nice and then I remembered that uh, we are right in the middle of the Goodwood Festival of Speed and while it's not actually slap bang in the middle of that area I would have to go through a lot of the roads leading up to Goodwood to get there so I thought perhaps I'll do that another day And uh, one other thing about this time of year is uh, I hope I'm not being too sniffy. He says as he then just has a big sniff. Sorry about that. Um, it's not a cold. It's uh, right smack dab in the middle of my hay fever season. 
So I have uh, taken my hay fever medication. It's supposed to be a one tablet a day job. But I find they very rarely last more than about four or five hours. I have tried taking two a day, but uh, it does tend to make me very dopey. And yeah, I know. You, would you would you be able to tell the difference? That's that's the question. So it's not too bad at the moment, but of course we've had quite a few days now of uh, quite warm, sunny, dry weather. Of course, all the pollen is up in the air. All the plants are releasing their pollen. They're all enjoying their summer. Still haven't repaired that wall where a car crashed into it. Well, no, no nod from the adventure rider. Oh well. So I'm quite thankful that my little period of work has come to an end, but we still have a few days of nice weather. According to the forecast, it's supposed to break sort of tomorrow, possibly Monday. Get uh, several a few days of rain which is fair enough we do need that rain you know we do need that rain yeah I could overtake there but what's the point doing very nearly the limit and there's plenty of vehicles up ahead so so I'm hoping that maybe Monday or Tuesday with the, when the weather settles down and becomes uh, nice again and the festival of speed is over I will be able to go up to the trundle as it's called it's where the all the the uh, there all the horse race trainers exercise their horses for the the horse racing circuit up there it is very nice up there and uh, I think it will make quite a good quite a good picture as long as it is the place that my subscriber has mentioned, as long as I'm looking at the same place that she's, she's mentioned. So there we are, yes. Things in the news here in the UK. Light vests and noise cameras. Now, as I say, the noise cameras aren't necessarily aimed at motorcyclists. And quite a few car oh dear, dead box. Quite a few cars uh, have loud exhausts as well. But it does seem to be more prevalent amongst motorcyclists. How are we doing for time? I can't see my oh no, another fox. Into two. I think I'm going to uh, I'm going to have to cut this short. Time has gone on further than I thought it would. I think I'm going to have to go home now. I'm not going to be able to stop at uh, Whiteways. Yep, Whiteways is uh, quite busy with bikes. Excellent. Possibly see you another time, chaps and chapesses.
I think I'm going to do as I normally do when I'm heading back home on this stretch of road and uh, sign off. So thanks for watching. Hope you're enjoying your riding if you're out, if you're a biker, if you're getting out on your bike. Oh, and there goes another sniff. Sorry about that. And if you are getting out and about on your bike, please, uh, please be safe and have fun. So again, thank you for taking a look and hopefully speak to you again soon. Cheerio for now. Bye.